What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You know who it is by all the, the avatars and all the descriptions of the page. You know who it is. You know what I'm doing. Mr. Warmack, about to give you another podcast. Today, I'm going to talk about a subject that kind of irks me. Because it didn't have to go this way. We're going to talk about in, in Trace Dos Uno right here. We're going to talk about the Bomber Ravens Ray Rice incident. Well, as you may have aware of, was as you, as you may have known by now, Ray Rice was uh, his contract was terminated by the Bomber Ravens, and he was suspended, quote unquote, indefinitely, I guess, by the NFL brass. Now, I feel a type of way about this because. Let me say this: How can you suspend somebody when they already have been suspended for the for the violations ahead of time? I mean, beforehand. Let me say this: Ray Rice has gone through the criminal, the civil, and the NFL penalty phase of what happened. Now, all of a sudden, TMZ releases the video, and the NFL gets on their moral high ground, quote unquote. They get on their political correctness moral high ground, I should say. They bow into the to feminazis. They bow into the public pressure, and they get rid of one of the. You know, they 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 just try to destroy a man's career. They threaten his livelihood. Look, I understand the NFL is a business, and they always say it's a business. Don't take it personal. This is an extremely personal this situation, because number one, the NFL has handled it oh so wrong. Let me explain something. If you want to go this route, I have no problem going with the way you've done if you do to go this route. But you don't do it after you pen penalize the guy beforehand. I mean, after you pen penalize the guy afterwards. It's kind of like a double jeopardy case in the court where you, you were found, whatever, then you're getting retried again. Well, that's a, lame, well, that's a lame one, but you understand what I'm saying. Ray Rice was getting, it was gay. they gave Ray Rice a two-game suspension. Well, bow to public pressure. Oh, uh, when? Okay, four game suspension, and everything. And this was like, this was like in a span, I think, of six months. So the NFL had time. Now the NFL is saying, well, we didn't see the footage. All of a sudden, the NFL is saying, well, we weren't given the footage. Now, which one is it going to be, Goodell? You need to make up your mind of which lie you want to stick to. The fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is this: Ray Rice was suspended for the two to four games. He accepted, he, he was a man like, I'm not condoning the situation wholeheartedly. But we're not talking about the situation right now. We're talking about the penalty phase right now because all the smoke is cleared. She stuck with him. She married him. So now we're on, we're on this, we're on this buffoonery here. Uh, fact of the matter is, Ray Rice should not be suspended. I don't care what anybody says, Ray Rice should not be suspended because he, how can you get suspended on a suspension you're already suspended on. That don't make sense. You're getting, he's getting punished twice. You know, I know people say, well, what if that's your daughter? That has nothing to do with the case at hand. The fact of the matter is she married a guy. The NFL, need, the NFL needs a stronger person to lead the union because I don't know how this is passing. And I know Ray Rice will go through the, through the steps of you know going through the union and this and that and the fifth. But after that, if I was Ray Rice, I would seek legal counsel because the NFL is like a job like anywhere else. The fact is that he got sus he got terminated his contract while he was serving his suspension. Isn't there a process you could go through to do all this? I mean, I know there's some people have moral clause in their contract, but that was dealt with when he got his two to quote. It was really dealt when he got his two game suspension. I don't know how that four game suspension came to be came to be came before. So that so really, it's the second time he's been penalized. You no, know, the third time he's been penalized. I mean, he, the first time was a two-game warrant, but then he went to four, and now it's term permanent. This is what I don't like about it. And everybody wants to cry and want to say, "Well, that was your daughter," or they want to say some some other stuff like, "Well, he did punch her." Look, I'm not I'm not saying what he did was right, but the penalty phase and, and the civil and the criminal and the NFL thing, all said and done, after he served his little his suspension, he should be allowed back in court. The fact is, the NFL is bound to public pressure, and Goodell is ruining the league. Watch when they change the Redskins' name. You, we're going to the, the Washington Native Americans. 
this is this is the problem with country. And here, and now, let, let me go on, before I go on. Let me call out these two jokers. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton should be down there in Baltimore, or D.C., or or go to or up in New York at the offices, saying, "How come that young man isn't back to work?" But you know why Al Sharpton might not do it? Because who's his co-host? Rachel Maddow. Conflict of interest. Even though it's right, he won't do it. You never see these guys unless they're profiting from somebody else's pain. There's no profit here. That's why you won't see Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton. Look, I'm gonna explain this to. I'm gonna explain this. There's a lot of dummies out there who won't get what I'm saying. This was a political move by Goodell to save face to the feminist, to the to the liberals' crime, and now he's done what he's done, and he's gave them their their joy. Now they're done complaining. But if you look at the situation at hand, it's not fair, and it's it's not fair, it's not right, and it's not just. But unfortunately, in this day and age, you can't say that or else you're a pariah. Now, back to the lecture in hand. Get Jesse Jackson, get Al Sharpton, which you won't see. Hopefully I'm wrong. Look, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll say I'm sorry. But you ain't going to see these two buffoons out there doing their little... you got to be a Ferguson case or a, a Trevor Martin case to get these two tap dancers out there. Look, I'm not worried about Farrakhan. I know Farrakhan got something to say. But Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, you're, you, look, man, prove me wrong. You know, get off your duffs and do something. If you really want to do something, here's now time to get your behinds in the spotlight and do something. Because like I said, this was wrong. This was outright wrong. You got a man that was given his punishment already. Then you're going to repunish him the second time with the four-game one. Now you're going to re-repunish him with the third time with the suspension. And then Baltimore cuts him. Look, I know it's a business. But the fact remains it's not right. He The, the business is not being ran well. You know, all right. I got more to say, but I'm so I'm I'm pretty pissed off with the situation because they're gonna they're gonna Chris Brown this dude pretty soon. So if his wife can forgive him and they made up and they're living a happy life, what's wrong with the rest of you? All right, peace.